Salutations, Earthlings! It is time for another run of Teleglitch! And considering that we have had possibly a 25% success rate, maybe I shouldn't try to challenge myself more and just focus on, uh... Simply focus on finishing the game again without any additional challenges because I don't think that we're at the level yet where we're trying to... We need to create a, a harder challenge that Teleglitch already is! This is the 8th run, we have died in 6 of the previous runs, no, actually 5 of the previous runs. We've only managed to get all the way to the end of the game. Uh, twice! And uh, most of the other runs have ended in a very, very shameful way. By simply dying to some random enemy except maybe... Uh, the last run, run number 7, which we died against the boss, but was also a very shameful de death because I was trying to conserve resources and I ended, uh, ended up simply losing everything because, you know, I just killed myself by uh, taking way too long in the boss fight. I got pretty much caught by the uh, giant snake boss. And uh, dying so early and without any kind of glory whatsoever. It's quite sad. Ow, ow. Come on, guys, don't be so violent. These guys, I don't like to stab them. They take too much damage, too much health out of me. Ooh, there's a secret room back there. And this is weird, uh, we started with a completely regular equipment. I'm wondering if um, uh, my random equipment thing got got uh, turned off somehow, or we just happened to start with the standard equipment uh, of pistol and explosives. Stabbing the air is uh, unadvisable. It is best to always stab the enemy instead. That is a pro tip for you. Don't stab the air, stab the enemy. Oh, there's another. Nice. Uh, uh, we're so flush with explosives, I'm tempted to use explosives to get in there, but uh, it's just uh, regular pistol ammunition. It's not really that much of a big deal. Uh, we're kind of uh, a little uh, scarce on our uh, health resources here, so I would really appreciate a storage cabinet with some health. Let's get rid of these guys. Another lesson I've learned, don't let them pile up. Ooh. Because they will corner you and just completely destroy you. Ooh. Ah, damn it, he actually got to punch me in the nose. Let's see if we can stockpile that can meat. Ooh. Mm, any secret rooms back there? Nothing. And you know, uh, I am always tempted to start from level 3. But it just, I don't know, it feels bad. It's, it feels weird to start from anywhere else other than the first level. I really like doing uh, full runs as opposed to using the shortcuts. And it just feels more authentic that way. If it irritates you, you can always just start on the second a uh, part of the run, nice. We got both weapons out of the first, out of that storage cabinet. That was kind of weird. Usually they're separated. Actually, that's the first time I ever find them in the same one. That's kind of strange. Um, I was gonna say, if it irritates you to watch the same video every time I start a run, it's always kind of the same. I will admit. Um, just start watching the run on uh, part two, which uh, always starts on level three. And that's when things really start to get interesting, in my opinion. From a viewer standpoint, I always enjoy playing the first and second level. And that's why I do it. Ow, ow, ow. These guys are getting too many punches in. I feel like I'm spamming the knife instead of actually aiming. There we go, that was much better. Uh, there's nothing there. Exhausting every exploration opportunity. Let's see, uh, yeah, there's one more door that I have not opened down there. So let's find out what's behind it. 
And right now, all we're missing... Nothing really uh, that I can tell. Oh yes, of course, the canned meat storage. That is the all important canned meat storage. We cannot leave without that. He might be behind that door. And so I've been considering once I get uh, better at the game is to start a series of speedruns where I just get to the end of the level as fast as I can and just see how far you can go without... I'm trying to find... That totally looks like a secret room. I'm going to try and... Uh, maybe that's a secret room that I did not explore. Maybe it's just a weird arrangement of the... Yeah, it's just a weird arrangement of the, of the wall. That is weird. Uh, we still need to find that canned meat storage, so that's what I am roaming to find. It looks like it's uh, all the way down at the bottom there. Um, oh yeah, speedruns! Uh, I'm kind of excited about that project, although I am sure that I will die so very often. But it will also cheapen the value of our life, because we'll be restarting a lot more often. But I, I'm very curious to see just how much you can get away with. Oh, nice. Totally glad I uh, decided to do this. There you go, some can guns that I've become a great fan of. Hmm. Oh, is that the secret room or nah? It's one of those weird wall glitches that uh, throw you off like that. We must be real close to having explored absolutely everything. Hope so. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't eat. Can't live without it. Pretty literally there. Cannot li live without canned meat in this game. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, there it is. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm so damn hungry. I'm really hoping for some uh, uh, med kits here. I cannot craft anything. I'm totally ignoring that because that is just some lore on the teleglitch anomaly. We don't care about any more. We know all about those things. So it looks like that is the end of the level. There is nothing else to explore. Oh yeah, there's a little bit down there that might be interesting. I know I've been thinking about uh, the the speed runs is probably focusing on making a ton of armor penetrating rockets oh there we go and i am so glad that i explored this area because now we have this med kit and we can push our health to the absolute best it can be uh what is the way out of here <sighs> oh, okay so i gotta go that that aways and then just north we can craft all sorts of things now. Mm, is it worth to make one of these so early in the game? Nah, not really. Yeah, mm, uh, I think more can guns. I'm so, uh, so fond of them now. And uh, let's make it just to stockpile it a little bit. Because we will need a bunch, even though the last run I missed both shots of the armor penetrating missiles and made the war, war war walker fight quite a bit harder. Let's make sure I go into the harder one. Right. His right. Which is this one? I think it is. And uh, because I like uh, uh, going this way, mm, I don't see it as often. Yeah, abandoned plankton farm. I don't see it as often, so it's it's a lot more new, more, in, more interesting to play through, and hopefully to watch. I don't like messing with those fat guys. I feel okay with spamming the shotgun to kill them. Another one of those. Oh yeah, well now we have uh, grenades that should uh, make disposing of these guys a lot easier once I land the actual shot. Uh, oh. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, canned meat. Delicious. Alright, we're at complete max health. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Of course, level two, we're going to start seeing a lot more fat people. Which will up the challenge somewhat. Still not a very uh, tough challenge if you just take your time and you don't... Oh, what's that? Oh, a tube and a dude. Oh, damn it, he got two punches in. An additional tube. Uh, I was going quiet for... I thought I heard steps, but that's not possible in this level. Level, so I don't know what I heard. Probably my own steps. Uh, so going around, trying to get me, but you didn't. Nail bombs. We need lots of explosives now. Very low on... I mean, our health is doing fine, but... By now, usually we get a lot more medkits. The, the storage cabinets have not been generous at all in that sense. They have provided with... Quite a few other things, so I'm not really complaining yet. I'm pretty fond of complaining, I'm bitching about everything, but I don't think I am uh, entitled to do that just yet. Ah, there. Sky, they flanked me! Ooh, rah, rah. No, 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 no. Carelessly going forward. La 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 la. Free zombies. Ow, ow. Oh, nice. A machine gun already. No, I don't mean to move that. I mean to move that. Consume this other canned meat. Consume that canned meat as well. We have lots of uh, cans. Let's make something with them. Our other. Oh, we already have two armor penetrating. What's going on now? Two armor penetrating uh, missiles. That is all we need for the wall worker fight, which is uh, three levels from now. So, yeah, I probably didn't need to craft them so early now that I'm just going to clutter my inventory until we get there. But it's very safe than sorry. I don't feel terrible about it or anything. Um, I'm going to hang on to that. We still have lots of uh, inventory room. I'll make sure to craft the stimulants before the war walker fight, if I still have the resources for it. Another storage cabinet. Ooh. That sounded like a fat guy somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Uh, let's see if we can stick a grenade to his face. That should work. <laughs> uh, now I'm covered in mutant blood and guts. Yeah, another storage cabinet. I'm quite a fan of this area. Uh, nail ammunition. Still uh, gonna try to not rely on the on the nail gun against my better judgment. Nail gun actually is a uh, uh, it's such a lifesaver. It, it kind of becomes a crutch. So uh, I'm going to try and uh, work with other things. It just makes uh, the run more interesting. I would. Stop doing that if I had uh, noticed that I am just failing constantly because of it. But our last run, I failed simply because I didn't want to use the laser gun. If I had used the laser gun, I would have uh, probably killed that snake boss way before he had a chance to completely obliterate my existence from this facility. Am I missing anything there? No. Oh, come on. Another guy. Another fat guy! Now, eat that fatso! More zombies. I've been uh, particularly lucky with my knife uh, shots, I guess. The, the stabs, they have been just timed just right, apparently. I don't know what's going on today. I cannot uh, possibly claim that suddenly I have become a freaking knife ninja. So I've just been getting lucky today. Is there a storage cabinet back here? Sometimes there is. Nope. Don't jump into the coop. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Continue exploring level 2. There's uh, all sorts of loot that we want to get. Come at me, bro. I can take you. <laughs> oh, he punched me. Asshole! That is rude. Punching people in the face is so rude. Hardware. What can I do? Wow, I can do a lot of things. 
uh, our usual uh, crafting is the drum machine gu machine gun and I've been questioning yeah if I were going for with the nail gun I wouldn't craft this but since I'm not going with the nail gun I'm going to roll with the machine gun because it has saved my ass in the past uh, many times that you need to just keep shooting without reloading it really really saves your butt okay that was a dead end uh, there's a whole bunch of areas that I did not explore so let's make sure that we see every single little bit of the level. Oh yeah, we we have some more canned meat that we can use. Um, yeah, okay, we can make... Mm, feel like I'm <laughs> carrying too many explosives now. And not enough of any, everything else. More, more mutants! Ow, ow, ow. Now that's more like it. That's more uh, classic Israel right there. Getting punched by the lowest enemy that you can possibly find. I'm being completely incompetent at, at dealing with menial threats like this. <laughs> I think this is a pretty good nail bomb opportunity, especially with this fat guy here. Oh, but I didn't catch him though. That's too bad. Uh, pff, let's use this regular pistol. Ow. Maybe I should use the shotgun. Okay. That worked. Let's use the shotgun to get into this secret room. Oh, nice. Another missile. Which I failed to use effectively in the past. Uh, uh, the one time that I, I really don't use them all that much, I really should keep them in mind more. Uh, the one time that I tried to use them, I wasted all missiles in killing maybe three zombies. Because they will just walk ahead of the pack and they will eat the missile in the face and not get let the others get hit. So yeah, it didn't work out all that well. But hopefully next time they'll, uh, they'll it, it won't happen like that. I think I'll re-explore this entire area. So let's go back to the main hall. Let's find out where I haven't gone. Looks like there's only that one spot over there, and then we'll be done with uh, level two and done with this session but I think I will simply continue I will stop the video here but I will continue the run right away because whoa, I just... <laughs> you son of a bitch you asshole fat guy I really like the, the explosions how they hey they just spread over and that zombie was going a little crazy he got some kind of cerebral palsy or something these poor zombies, you gotta feel sorry for them. They're somebody's father, somebody's daughter. So bad. So tragic. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're done with the level. Uh, let's take inventory of what we have. We have a ton of explosives that I have not used yet, but I'm sure I'll get the opportunity to use them in the near future. Um, we are okay with ammunition. Not the greatest, but... Kind of standard, very standard, uh, low on health items, very high on explosives. That's our current theme. I'm okay with that so far, since our health is still doing quite well. Next level, of course, we're going to face people with guns, and that'll uh, make things more challenging, because when you don't have armor, uh, those shots, they can take 30 to 40 health easy. So, we're done with the first part of the run. I hope you enjoyed it so far. We're going into level 3. Until you click on the next video, I bid you farewell.